good morning my beautiful people okay so i know this video probably looks really awkward i'm recording actually on my laptop i tried recording on my iphone but for some reason it keeps saying i'm out of storage space i know i'm not i deleted every single one of my photos i even deleted so many apps and it's still saying that uh, so i probably will have to go to freaking at&t and find out what the hell is wrong because this is irritating i can't do these kind of videos i they look weird to me Anyway, so I just want to address something real quick. Um, so I've been looking at, you know, these comments on my life story um, video, okay? The most recent comments. And let me just address something. You guys had mentioned about my, grand, my grandparents being, you know, sick and crazy and they should have done something. Um which let me say this i agree with you a hundred percent a hundred percent but back then and i'm not justifying anything back then it was more of what happens in the home stays in the home you know it's nobody's business what goes on in our household that sort of thing so obviously things are a lot different now than what they were back then okay anyway I, there's a lot of things that I still haven't talked about. Like for one, my oldest brother used to beat the shit out of our grandmother when we were younger. Every single time my grandpa would go would be on the road, which, cause you know, he was a truck driver. Um, my brother would beat her literally. I would walk in and it would always be in the kitchen. It seemed as if, um, every time like he would want money, want to drive her car, anything. And she would say, no, he would literally put his hands on her, like punch her in the face, pull her hair, push her, drag her on the floor. I mean, it was insane. I remember um, my grandpa coming back from, you know, uh, truck drive, from, you know, driving, being on the road. And I said something to him. I said, you know, uh, Dusty was beating on mom because what the hell? Like that's, no, you don't do that. So um, I remember my grandfather beating the shit out of him and I laughed because he had every every right to beat the shit out of him anyway um, and my brother ended up getting a knife and ended up stabbing my grandfather in the hand like the knife went right through the hand um, another thing was my grandfather actually touched my biological mother when she was like 11 or 12 years old I guess my grandfather back then was an alcoholic and like my grandmother walked in on him doing that to her. I don't remember my grandfather drinking at all actually. Um, the only thing that, and he, he, I don't think he ever drank when he was, when they were, you know, when they took me in and started taking care of me. Um, the only thing I remember is my grandfather smoking weed and that was when he had lung cancer like years later and obviously um, with my two older brothers. So anyway, but my grandmother would always ask me, um, Ashley, did dad ever touch you? You know, you, you can tell me anything and I won't say anything to him, um, but I just need to know. And I've always wondered why she would always ask you that and I used to get so mad at her well after she asked me that I used to have like these dreams of my grandfather doing stuff to me and I never knew if they were real like I I never mentioned it to anybody well and my grandfather would always want me to go with him on these 
whoops, these road trips, um, you know, because like I said, he was a truck driver. So we lived in Ohio at the time, and we, he would be back and forth from Ohio to California, Texas, Arizona, Florida, Michigan, like basically everywhere. And most of the time he would want me to go with him. Um, you know, I... Till this day, I still don't know. And I hope and pray like he never did. You know, because... He's the only... You know, man in my life that I could, you know, trust then when he was here. So I don't want to look at him in a different way, you know. But I remember, um, you know, my first incident with, um, my two my brothers right when we lived in California and um oh my god I didn't do my foundation yet shit um I remember the first incident with my brothers when we lived in California I was probably like five four or five years old anyway but from the periods from after like that incident when I was like four or five until I was like 12 I don't remember a whole lot of anything um, until my older cousin, he's not actually, you know, blood related to me, but um, he's, you know, in relation to my cousin's cousin. You know what I mean? So, but I always called him my older cousin. So long story short, um, he asked me and I talk about this in my, you know, life story video. Um, if I still talk to my two older brothers and I said, yeah, why? And he was like, why do you still talk to them? Do you know what they did to you? And he told me, you know, that they, every time they would have friends over, they would always have me in their room and would do sexual things to me and I would do sexual things to them. After that, after getting told that, I started having these dreams, these vivid dreams. And I would go ask my grandmother or go tell her, you know, because I thought either I was going crazy, like I, maybe I was sick in the mind like they were and just having these nasty dreams. I don't know. But my grandmother would always tell me like, yeah, I remember you telling me that, you know, we always used to bust their ass for it, you know, like... So I knew that they were flashbacks of my, the trauma that I had. Well, um, and I remember, and so, you know, then it, it takes me back to, you know, having these dreams about my grandfather. Um, and if they were true, like, if they were flashbacks with my brothers, then they have to be flashbacks with him, too, right? I mean, like, that would only make sense to me. But I never talked about this. Oh. Because I just don't want that to be the case. You know? Because if that is the case, then Than every single man in that family is literally sick in the in the head. Um, you know, my two, my older uncle, my oldest uncle, he, um, you know, molested his sister, my aunt. Um, my other uncle, I don't think that he molested anybody in the family, but um, he has a problem with showing himself, exposing himself to, to little kids, to, you know, um, 
and then my two older brothers, you know, they're rapists and, you know, Chester the molesters as well. My cousin, I remember, um, so back in October of 2018, when I had gotten out of prison for the second time, I was staying with my aunt for two weeks. My, um, her son, my cousin, tried to have me um, let him, uh, tried to get me to have him do oral sex on me. And I said, absolutely not. Are you insane? And he mentioned, well, just, you know, you remember when we were kids and we used to, you know, do little, you know, touch each other and stuff. Um, no. I don't really, I don't remember. The only thing I remember with him was he had like a rat's tail in the back and it was really long and I cut it, I believe. Or either I cut it or I brushed it. And, or maybe I did, I did cut it. And I remember my aunt flipping the fuck out. But I don't remember us, like, touching each other. I mean, it could very much so have been true, you know. Um, but even when he, you know, mentioned that, um, I did, never had any dreams or anything of that happening. So I don't know. But it's probably true. I mean, you know, when kids get you know, molested or whatever, they tend to act out sexually what is happening to them. So that could have been very much so true with me, you know? Um, but, you know, I, I just don't want, I just don't, I'm, I'm hoping and praying that that just never happened. It's just not the case for me with my grandfather. Um, just, you know, like I said, if that's the case, then, you know, certain things may be like the reasoning why he did things, why he always would want me around and why he would always buy me things why, and anything that I wanted, he would buy. Like there was not one time that um, he would say no, not one time that I remember him saying no. Um, he would always want me to go with him on the, you know, when he was on the road. Um, I remember even when, you know, we would be, uh, like go on, uh, like the toll or whatever, uh, I forget what the hell it's called, damn. Um, but when you go across state lines, there is some, you know, with truck drivers, I don't know, even with car, anyways, certain places you have to pay, right, to cross the border. Um, and with truck drivers, I know back in the day, well, this is what, this was the case with my grandfather. So I don't know if this is how it was with all the truck drivers. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming, um, he would have me go in the back, you know, like where the little bed was in the back and he had like a curtain up. He would tell me to hide in the back. Okay. So what he would do, he said that the, cause he didn't know what the man, anybody thinking that he kidnapped me or anything. Um, so when they, when he would come and pay his his toll or whatever, the guy would peek in and my grandfather would have to pull the curtain back and he pulled it back to the area where I was at so it could cover me. And he would literally peek in and look and then send him on his way. Um, so, I, I don't know, you know, I, I'm just hoping and praying that that's just not, not the case. Um, but it does have me, you know, question. And like I said, I've never, you know, talked about it just because I just don't want it to be true, you know. That's something that um, would really be disturbing <laughs> to me. But I probably would never know just because, like, I don't talk to, well, you know, my grandmother isn't here, and obviously she didn't know anything, because she was always coming to me asking me. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so, I'm trying to actually get ready, and we're going to go to Walmart and get something for my mouth, because my mouth is on fire. My bottom teeth it's not even my teeth it's my gums they are so red so inflamed and they feel even when I'm talking to you guys right now they feel like I feel like it's cutting into my gums 
it hurts so fucking bad. So I'm going to go to Walmart and hopefully get something that will numb it. Um, but I just want, I don't want, um, I forget what the hell that one thing is when you, um, the numbing stuff. But every time I put that on, my tongue, my tongue would get freaking numbed and I don't like that shit. So hopefully I can find something that, um, I could just put directly on my gums and it won't, you know, um, resonate, you know, all in my mouth to where my whole mouth is numb in my tongue. So anyway. But, uh, yeah. I mean, today is going to be an emotional day. It's like really hard for me to talk about, you know, things that I've talked about. And I wasn't going to talk about it. I don't even, I didn't even write this in my book. But I'm going to go back and put it in there. Okay, well, that was a good cry for today. <laughs> so I'll just, uh, yeah, talk to you guys later.